This is my Raspberry Pi video about gaming. The uh, games that come on the uh, Raspberry Pi, which are pretty nice actually. Not bad for uh, Solar Wolf. Now that's when I got this off the internet. And this is what the <coughs> what the Python programming code looks like here. And uh, some of these games are pretty well written. Don't you see some of the detail? will not maximize this window and then we will run it solar wolf that's what this game is going to be Looks nice. You can select menu items. You pilot a mighty solar wolf. <coughs> sorry, solar wolf fleet of ships. There are no weapons, but it has the most advanced maneuvering of its kind. Control your ship with the arrow keys. Uh, or a joystick. You can use the VI keys if you know what that is. Uh, take advantage of the hyper jets by holding the spacebar or joystick button. Collect all the cubes in each level to advance. The Guardians protect the power cubes on every level. They will become more aggressive in the later levels. Don't get too close. They like to shoot point blank. skip level timer on the right side of the screen you will see a large red skip a level timer if you can clear the level before the timer runs out you will automatically skip the next level okay I'm done with that one This game was written using the Python programming language and using Pygame, um, which is some regard as a game engine, but it's more like a. Uh, what is Python or Pygame actually? It's like a. I have to look it up. I have to look up Pi Game to see what it is. <coughs> mm. 
I've, I've used it before, I just forgot. Um, well, Python combine or Pygame combine combines the uh, Python programming language with the um, SDL wrapper. Okay, Pygame is a cross-platform set of modules designed for writing video games. It includes computer graphics and sound libraries designed to be used with the Python programming language. Uh, it is built over the Simple Direct Media Layer library with the intention of allowing real-time computer game development with, without the low-level mechanics of the C programming language and its derivatives. This is based on the assumption that the most expensive functions inside games, mainly the graphics part, can be completely abstracted from the game logic in itself, making possible the use of high-level programming language like Python to structure the game. All right. Um, the type it's an API, Application Program Interface. And it's, it's pretty popular for uh, these little types of uh, projects because it's supposed to be fairly quick and easy for people to write mostly games, but you can do they say you can do some other multimedia type of uh, stuff with it. All it does is it just binds together Python as a programming language with uh, SDL, which is um, I'll show you what SDL is. <coughs> it's a uh, simple direct media layer is a cross-platform free open source multimedia library written in C that represents simple interface to various uh, platforms, graphics, sound, and input devices. Basically SDL is a lot like um, DirectX in Windows. Uh, DirectX is an API and um, it handles input from mice, keyboard, joysticks. It, it handles sound, uh, graphics, 3D rendering, uh, but you know DirectX has many components. They got direct sound, uh, direct input, direct um, networking, and especially direct 3D. And all these components are they're like sub sub components of DirectX and uh, so many games and multimedia programs especially in Linux uh, make use of uh, SDL and the advantage of SDL is that it can run on a, on virtually any operating system uh, it's very popular on GNU Linux which most people just call it Linux uh, but it can run on Windows, it can run on Mac OS. Um, yeah, software developers use it to write computer games or other multimedia applications that can run on many operating systems, including Android, which is put out by Google, that's the form of Linux, Amiga operating system, FreeBSD, BEOS, iOS, which is Apple for their, um, for their phones and their tablet PCs. It runs on Linux, Mac OS uh, 9, Mac OS X or 10, Morph OS, Open VMS, PlayStation Portable, Syllable, Symbium, Web OS, and Windows. So why, why? I mean, like, what incentive do people have to write their games or their whatever in DirectX and then only have it available? on the Microsoft Windows platform. Why, why should anybody do that? When they should, when, when they could write it using, you know, they can write their programs, their games, their multimedia programs using SDL and then therefore their stuff will run on virtually any operating system and on virtually any computer with either little modification needed or no modification at all. 
I mean, it's just the logical choice to use SDL. But people are codependent on Microsoft. They think that they need Microsoft because they think that's the only way to reach the masses. It's not exactly true. Since SDL runs on practically every operating system, why not just write your games or your programs to use SDL? Then you only have to, you know, you only have to use it, you know, you only have to use SDL. And then, because of that, um, y your programs and games can run on anything. So instead of making all these different versions and having to redo your, your, your project over and over again for whatever operating system, you just write it in SDL and then it, it'll run on all these. But people don't think that way in the industry. They think that they need Microsoft and... No, I mean if they want to write if they want to write their games for Windows, they I mean, just just write it for SDL, um, that API, and then yes, it will run on Windows, but then it'll run on Linux or Mac. You know, I mean it's the logical choice, and you can reach even more people, and a lot of people don't think of that. But, oh well, if they want to be stupid, they just, this is dumb. Anyway, that's that. Okay, Solar Wolf is pretty interesting. Now, another one. Uh, they call it RPG World on here, but it's, um, it's actually, um, Um, it's actually called uh, Olmo's Adventure, and it's really neat. It really looks very much like something you'd see on a fourth generation game console, but it's written for, you know, the computer using Pygame. And, uh, Anyway, uh, this person here, they adapted it for the uh, Raspberry Pi. It would have ran on the Raspberry Pi anyway, because it's using the Python programming language. So, they, um, but I think it's just an iconic thing, you know, because the Raspberry Pi is becoming a uh, popular developer platform for games and such. And, uh, See if I can get a little bit closer to the screen because this uh, screen size seems like it's fixed. Uh, specific size. One of these days I'm going to play this with a game pad. Oh, it does this thing with the keyboard that's weird. Hmm. Hey. Like, look at this. I mean, this looks like something from a 16-bit game console. But it was designed for the computer, and I think it's only a few years old. I mean, this year, uh, right now, it's um, uh, August 2012. Oh, you can see it's loading a different map. You see on the uh, command prompt transition from uh, right there. It just um, just loaded that as um, I went over to the next part of the screen. I just pay attention to this because I want to make things like this.